Hey guys, so today I wanted to make a video about changing the front LCD assembly, the front screen, on a Google Nexus 5. And so this is the video about disassembly. So how to take it apart. So where we're going to start is right here on the headphone jack. We're going to start with using our plastic pry tool. And this is a good place to start. You just go in there, start popping that loose. Um, just keep working it around all the way on the top come down the side and just work that down both sides like that helps to put your fingers in here Now, see how that's separating down there on both sides? I don't want to make the video too long here, but um, so what you need to do, there's a few clips here in the back part. So what I have is I have a long pry tool like this. Just carefully reach back in here and pop those loose. There's two in the middle there. Then there's some more. There's a little adhesive at the bottom, so you want to go slow. So there's the back. See, here's the adhesive I was talking about. It's in the bottom corner here. And um, anyway, so there's the back part. Set that aside. And now here's the phone. And so where I would recommend starting is there's six screws here on the back cover, the the back plate for the um, motherboard, the logic board. So I would start taking those screws out. It's just these six for now. Hopefully you can kind of see what I'm doing here. So now make sure those are all loose and some of the screws might come out and some might not depending on um, if you have a magnetic screwdriver or not. So what I would recommend, I'm going to use this and just gently pry right up here on this side and it appears that I don't have the screw all the way loose. So just make sure about that. So just gently pry up here and it pops loose and then there's that part. That's the cover for the behind the motherboard. So all the all the screws came ended up coming out with it. And um, so what I would do next is I would carefully start removing the connectors and all I have is a metal pry tool I would recommend a plastic one but the plastic one that I have has this curve on it and I don't have the plastic pry tool so I'm just going to very carefully so start with the uh, front facing camera take that loose and the rear facing camera take that loose and then Here's the battery connector. Take that loose. And then you have the dock port connector. Maybe start in one end. Take that loose. Now, so the other connectors, there's these little tiny wires here. Let me zoom in here a little bit just to show you. Um, so that these little wires here, the antenna wires, you're going to want to wiggle loose. I have a tweezers for this. I'm going to wiggle them loose and pull them back out of the way like that. And there's one under here, a white one. So pop that loose with the tweezers and pull it back. 
now this is ready to pop out very carefully probably under here oh I forgot one thing and I was gonna mention this very start I almost forgot very first thing we have to do is pop out this sim card tray and so you want to pop that out and then you can do this I was gonna show that the very first so there's a little adhesive under here just very carefully watch the connector on the camera and pop that out set that aside now what I would do next is let's take out the camera the front camera now I just have my tweezers you have to kind of wiggle under this black part here kind of wiggle that loose very carefully pull that out there's adhesive on the bottom of that and that's your front camera and then the same thing for the, the headphone jack you can just stick the tweezers in the hole it actually popped right out but uh, there's a little adhesive underneath there as well so then um, there's a front facing camera here too there's a piece of black rubber under here that you have to peel up like this and then there's a little bit of adhesive it's all part on the camera you'll have to grab that with the tweezers and pull it up it comes up a little tricky sometimes then you should be able to just carefully pull that up there's adhesive on that as well and um, put that off to the side so the next thing we have to do is the earpiece speaker just carefully pry that up that has adhesive there as well so now we're done with that part now we move on to take the the speaker assembly out in the bottom there's these four screws like here one two three four so let's take those out now it appears from what I can see that these screws are all the same size they're even the same size as the other ones that I took out in the top now you just carefully want to try to pry in here pick this up tip it forward and it pops right out so you take that out then next what we're gonna do is take the battery out so we'll just take our pry tool here we go under the corner a little actually maybe this would work better to get it started that's the tweezers and then the pry tool you can slide it in there just carefully there's adhesive under here too just pry it up just like that if you if you uh, bend this up a little bit it's no big deal you can just push it back down that's why we're being careful so now the battery's out so now what we want to do is we want to pull these wires out of their channels carefully like this very carefully and so now we have one connector left here that we have to take off very carefully pry that up and so now we're ready to pry this part up so very carefully there's adhesive on this too just um, pry up gently on this there's adhesive down in there and then very carefully I would say use something fine like the tweezers if you're careful with it Sorry if I say carefully too much, but you do want to be careful. 
So slowly wiggle this around. You want to be sure to not break this wire right in here. It's really thin. Carefully pry that up. And that all comes out as one piece, just like that. Sometimes they're really stuck in there, so you have to watch. And then sometimes there's some adhesive in here that you want to try to take the tweezers and straighten out. So it's in there for when you... For what I'm doing, I'm going to... I just have the... I don't have the whole frame, so I'm going to reuse this frame. As some of you watching this video may have as well. Um, anyways, so there we have it. There's the empty frame. Now that didn't take long at all. Um, so next... I have a, just a regular heat gun, like this, and what we need to do to change this out, here I have the new screen, just to show you. I have the new screen and it's just, it's the whole LCD glass assembly, but it's, uh, but I don't have the frame, that's what I'm talking about, so what I need to do is heat this up carefully around the edge here, and and pry it apart with the plastic pry tool. So next what I wanted to show you was um, what you have to do before you start taking it apart is this is all glued down with his adhesive as well this part here and you're not necessarily trying to save this because this goes with the old LCD but if you pull up carefully on this tab and pry slide your tweezers under here or pry tool whatever you have and have that come up like that. And then what I try to do is usually an ideal spot um, to start this. You have to heat it up here just so it gets good and hot. There's nothing to worry about damaging on here um, since you're changing the whole assembly. And then usually this front facing camera hole right here is a good spot to like poke a screwdriver or something through to get just a little bit. But mine was really badly cracked right here so I wasn't able to do that. So what I was able to do though, I mean, since I did that, it just popped this corner out, so it exposed this corner of the LCD right here. So what I was able to do is get under there with my tweezers and just get it started. Then what I would recommend doing is using your flat tool. Plastic would probably be better. And there's pieces that come off sometimes. And just carefully try to slide that underneath there. And you may have to heat it up. See how it's picking up right there? You may have to heat it up a few times and just keep working it around here. So I'm not going to show uh, me dry doing it with the hair dryer because it's so noisy. So I wanted to show you that this is now with the LCD out. Um, what ended up happening is is uh, since it was so badly cracked I just had to keep working around on this side starting in this corner and working around and I got this loose and I was able to just pry it up like this and it's important that you go this way because of the way this um, connector part down here is offset is that this side comes through first and then this side comes through later so now that that is off there's quite a bit of glass to clean off of this part and off of this part. So you have to do it really carefully. So one last thing I want to say is um, just make sure that you get all the glass pieces. This one I had a lot on this part here, the upper and lower part. Um, I had, because of the way it was cracked, it, it took me a, quite a while to get those cleaned off, but I got them. You just gotta be slow and steady. Give it lots of heat and take it a little bit at a time with the tweezers or whatever you have that's sharp it has a really slim edge. Even the knife is works if you're careful if it's a thin bladed knife and just keep working it. And so the one thing I wanted to point out also is there's a little ring that comes off with the front camera here and make sure to stick it back on the um, screen you're putting back on. It's a little adhesive for the front camera. Um, it might not be that big of a deal if it's lost, but if you can save it, I would recommend doing that. So, good luck with the um, 
this assembly process here and please uh, watch my video for reassembly if you are interested in putting it back together which you probably will be if you have it this far um, but anyways yeah so I don't want to make my video too long so I'm gonna do another one about putting it back together so um, good luck thanks for watching